Good afternoon, everyone. Got an interesting question. I think you pronounce his name Brody. He wants to fly four hens with his nephew. And that's all he wants to fly. So his question was, what are the adversities? And what? how would I fly them? Kind of hard for me to answer because I've never flown just hens. But if I had to, here's some of the things I would do. First, let me say, when you're racing pigeons, you lose some. Things happen. You might actually come to a day when you only have four racing hens. So maybe it's something to think about. I wish this fly would go away. But anyway, if I had four hens and it was young bird season, I wouldn't do very much until I was sure that uh, pituitary gland was functioning. When birds were having hormones, then you could do something with them. But before that, forget it. Just forget it. Wait for them to be old birds. Young birds are going to a molt. It's kind of tough with only four pigeons. But if I had four hens, I would keep an eye on them. I would try to find a cock to see if I could motivate them a little bit. Trying to mate on that cock. Maybe do a, a peephole where they're in one section and he's in another section and they got to fight to look in the peephole to see him. It was a flyer that did that with 12, 13 hens. Now, I don't know if it was young birds. And he flew pretty well. Did really well. Oftentimes, hens, if there's no cocks, will mate very often. That's what they want to do the most. They want to breed. Pigeons want to reproduce. So if a couple of those hens got made it and laid eggs, you know, you could do some things. Normally they're sitting on four eggs, and if this fly don't go away, normally they're sitting on four eggs. You might want to try taking one of them hens away, let the other hen have the responsibility of them four eggs and just see how she's hunkering down. I wouldn't ship all four to a race because that could wipe you out. That's a couple things that I would do. You can get to the point where you only have a few hens. In my case, when I trained them, I lost all the hens. I had cocks. You have to train those hens. Pretty hard if you can. And let them understand that what they want is in the coop. Maybe taking one hen away or rotating them hens one day, one day this, one day that. Might motivate them. That might motivate them. And if they're trained well, like kind of like that clinker or that street rat that my father trained every day, you got a shot. You have a good shot. Throw a strange bird in there with them. Maybe they're confined to a box. Take them out, 
put the strange bird in the box. All those things can help. But getting to the point with only four pigeons where you can raise them with the hawks and all the adversity that we have with pigeons is kind of tough. But it can happen. It can happen. If you got other birds and they're sitting on eggs, you could slip a young one in there. That'll motivate them. So you got to train them hard, have them ready, and see what you can do to motivate them. Look at all your options. Look at the web. Look at a lot of things. Make sure the birds are healthy. That's the number one thing. They got to be healthy. They have to be mature enough to have their hormones flowing. And they got to be well trained. Well trained. And if you got the right hands, a couple of them hands, they can do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Good hands. I like them. Well, if I think of anything else, I'll put it up on a video. So that's it for now. Because this fly is really getting to be annoying. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the channel. Subscribe. And I guess that's it.